Bonjour, welcome to our kitchen. Today we're making French bread. Um, let's start with a joke. What did the bread kid say while playing hide and go seek? Ready or not, here I come. Okay, let's get started with our French bread. Mia, do you want to put everything in the mixer? Yes. Okay, we're gonna have start with two and a quarter cups of warm water. Yes. It needs to be warm to activate the yeast. Remember? Yeah, the little monsters. Oh, yeah. let's give all the bowl. Okay. Not mostly the bowl. Yeah, what time whenever I made the smoothies? I think we're okay. Whenever I made the smoothies, these are flashbacks. Okay, let me grab a towel. Do we put in the oil? I, I really want to put in the oil. Okay, so we have two and a quarter cups of warm water. What's next? It needs to be warm because we're waking up. The yeast. So the sleeping put, monsters. Yep, so let's put the yeast in to the warm water. Let's take one tablespoon of yeast. I got some stuck to the sides. That's okay. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, because what do the yeast like to eat? Sugar. Sugar. Well, then why do we have salt if they don't like sugar? Well, salt is for the bread to taste good. So, if hold on, if you're using active dry yeast, then you probably want to stop and wait about three or five minutes to make sure your yeast for six is working. There should be little bubbles. You're just kind of proofing it to make sure the yeast are awake wow. and working. Yes, do you have a question? That was salt because it looks like salt. That was sugar. This is salt. I put them in different things so I can remember. Um, if you're using instant yeast, which we're using today, I have instant yeast, then you can really just throw everything, just throw everything in. Um, I don't really like the smell going. of yeast. Not my favorite smell. So we're, we have instant yeast, so we're going to just keep going. So we're going to put in two tablespoons of oil. Yay. Careful. <gasps> the bubbles. And so we're going to put in a tablespoon of salt. It bubbled. And all we have left now is our flour. So this recipe calls for, hold on, calls for um, about five to six cups of flour. So it depends on things like the weather, how humid it is, how much flour, flour you're really going to need. So I don't like to put all the flour in at once because that might be too much. So I'm gonna put in, put in about three cups. Kind of loosen it up a little bit. Three cups, we'll start with that and see how our dough. Our dough turns out, and then we'll add a little bit more. Can I try to scoop as it? As needed. Can I try to scoop it? Yeah, just kind of fluff it up a little bit. Like to put it all into one little pile. And yeah, just kind of fluff it. it. You just don't want to pack it in too tight because then you'll kind of overmeasure the flour. But if you just kind of fluff it up a little bit and get it in the cup. Not touch the flour. Yeah, but you need to fill it up. So. This is hard. And then I just kind of scrape across the top. Scrape the extra off. Okay, so that's, see that's good. That's good. That's two cups. How many cups do we need? We're going to start with three. We'll start three. with three. Okay. And then see what we need from there. Just kind of fluff it up. Put it in there. We'll just take the top off. Alright, that's three cups. All right, now. I like how flour <laughs> comes out all clean. Okay, so we have this flour that we'll use as needed to make our dough, and we're gonna just um, let the machine work now and let it knead it, and we wanna get to that consistency where the dough um, just starts pulling away from the bowl and we're onto the hook. So we'll show you. All right, ready to get started? Uh, do we start with Put stir? Do we start with stir? Yeah, oh, when you're using the knead hook on a KitchenAid, you don't want to go above speed two. You want to stay speed one or speed two. Um, right and now we're at speed one, which is like stir. Yep, it's just going to come together. Very liquidy right now. Okay. Okay, so the dough is done. Um, whenever you finish, it's kind of like in a Play-Doh consistency, kind of like that. Oh, Although you don't really play with it. Um, speaking of Play-Doh, we're probably going to make some, but um, um, this is the... It's not sticking to the sides of the bowls, and this time it took us the full six cups. It yes. took the full six cups for us to get the dough like So this. if you want, so I'd start with um, maybe five, and then maybe do six, or three, and then do three more just in case. Okay, now we'll move on to the next step. So, um, 
The dough is done, as you know, and we have to put the dough into this and let it rise for like about an hour. All right, this, and this bowl we greased, we just sprayed it with some Pam spray so the dough won't stick to the bowl. Yes. And can you get it out of there all by yourself? I might. I'll try to. You can get some any extra pieces, but holy crap, this dough like, weighs like a thousand pounds. <laughs> Don't need to help. Okay, one sec. It's also really stuck to the bowl sometimes. Okay, so we're back, and um, the dough has now fully rised. It's been one hour. So, yeah, we um, had some technical difficulties, but we got the dough into the bowl, and it's risen for about an hour. So now we're going to move on and shape our dough into our fresh bread loaves. So, this makes two loaves of French bread. I'm just going to spray the counter, just so the dough doesn't stick. I see some down here. Okay. this dough into a loaf of bread. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, let's cut it about in half. In half. I'm just guessing. It looks like about half. Yes. So you're going to get half. Yes. And I'm going to get half. Do we just play with it? I want to um, it. Actually, you're supposed to, you don't want to play with it too much. Okay. Um, we're going to shape it up. Put it down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have kept it flat. Shape it out into about a 9 by 13 <gasps> Can you give me like a roll? <gasps> Where's the rolling pin? No, we don't, need, we don't need a rolling pin. We just use our hands. Let's Smack see. it. So I just think of like the size of a 9 by 13 baking dish. That's what I think of when I'm doing this. So that's probably about the right size. I can't get Try it. Try to do it over there. He's not doing good. Here if you do like little, just short little. Okay. I need yes. a rolling pin, Mom. Oh, well, we can do this without a rolling pin. You don't have to get me out. Okay, let's press. push it out so it's a little bit more of a right angle. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's <laughs> not much. Okay. You guys hear your dough there. <laughs> okay. Is this good? Just patch up your little hole. It's very fat right there. I think this will work. Okay, you're ready for the next step now. Are you ready? You got that whole little hole right there. I okay. poked it. So now, we're going to take, are you watching Mia? You're going to take the long side and you're just going to roll it up. <gasps> Remember when we made whole honey whole wheat bread? Yeah. And we rolled it up into like a log. That's what we're doing basically. This is just a kind of a bigger, longer log. Oh, so we just roll it into like uh -huh. that? Just like that. Yep, just like that. We done. This is and then there, mom. This reminds me of cinnamon rolls. Kind of. Hey, and then you gotta take the ends though, kind of tuck them under and pinch them. So it looks like that. Tuck them under and pinch them. You want them to fit on the. Baking sheets. Mine's a little skinny. Mine's a little fat. <laughs> but they'll both they'll taste work. good. Okay. Does this look good, Mama? That looks good, yeah. So I like to put each loaf on their own baking sheet. And I have we have baking sheets here with parchment paper. So can you lift it up and put it in the middle of your baking sheet? Three, two, one. Got it. Okay. Is this good? Mm hmm And so now oh, my big makes I like sick. to I like to make the little slits in it now because I'm always worried I'm gonna deflate it after it rises. So um <gasps> do you think you can do this, Mia? Yes, I can. Okay, so you have to be careful. This is use a really okay. sharp knife and just diagonal diagonal slits across the top. Yeah, I can do that. Oops. 
I know how to do okay. it because if I use butter knives, I, I can practice with butter knives. So just go like that. Just, yeah, maybe like, I don't know, four or five of them. So, like that. Just helps it when it, it bakes and it stands. Just like that. That's good. That. Just like that. Just mm -hmm. like that. And just like that. Perfect. Okay, let me take a knife. We're just going to. That looks good. I'm good it job. A little bit. So we're going to take these two loaves and we're going to cover them with greased plastic wrap and let them rise another hour, and then we'll be ready to put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be back. After one hour, and then put it in the oven. Okay. So our bread is now fully rise. It's been one hour. It's ready for the oven, right? Yes. So we're gonna carefully peel off our grease. No way. Plastic wrap. I How does yours look, Mia? I, mine looks good except for this little bit. Oh. Um, well, I think next time we just need to make sure that the seam gets kind of tucked under there a little tighter. But I think it'll still taste good. Yes. It'll still be good. So they're much larger, right? They doubled fatter. in size. My, mine was fat before, but. Now it seems small because it was like half the size. Okay. So. Well, we're going to bake these in a 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And I tell they're golden brown and delicious. All right, let's stick them in the oven. Yeah. Ready? Okay, so we're back and um, the bread is now all cooled down. So, Mom, do you want to, like, have a little bit of this and a little bit of that to test both of them? Because one has butter, one doesn't. Well, how about we just do yours for now? Okay. We'll just let's just cut yours and see anything. Do you want an end piece or one after the end piece? I like um, non-end pieces. Non-end piece? Ooh, it looks like it has a good texture in there. outside and the tender chewy inside. Yes. That's good. And we're gonna turn these into subs for dinner. Mm -hmm. Delicious subs. Mm -hmm. You like subs? Yummy yum, yum subs. 